world. So it's been four years since I've done this. Set up a ring light, a video camera. This one I can't work anymore, I don't understand. Um, so it's probably not the best quality that people are used to nowadays and YouTube things have changed. And I am pretty pants at things like this now. Even just trying to work out how to use iMovies. I know everyone uses like Final Cut Pro, but I'm not paying £400 for a program. It's just not going to happen. Um, so yeah, the reason why I'm here is because I recently did a um, survey on my Instagram. And I had an email pop up from YouTube saying, you know, that you haven't done this in your account and we're going to close it down. And I thought, rather than me make the decision, I put a screenshot up. And I've had it before. People have messaged me saying, I miss you. Please come back. Are you ever going to come back and do videos again? Like, you're really down to earth, which was lovely. Like, seriously, getting those messages really warmed my heart. Like, it was amazing getting so many nice messages again. And um, it's just like support and it's been four years like I can't stress that enough four freaking years is a long time I've not been on here and obviously so much has changed since then as well and um, but yeah I did this survey and 500 plus people said yes come back and do a video like we miss you I want to know what you're up to so here I am doing this video right now and um, it's a little bit weird if I keep looking over here it's because of the viewfinder but it's a very old camera and it flips me upside down so I look a little bit strange so I keep catching my eye but I'm going to try my best to stay focused um, so yeah I'm here currently doing an update so yeah four years is a very very long time to not be on here and obviously the last time you guys have seen me you can probably see back on my old video quite an upsetting and depressing video but I don't want to remove it because it was real like the emotion was there it was all just raw as I said raw and edited me like it was me upset and going through the motions that I needed to get through to get to where I am today so I think this year I could be wrong 2014 15 16 yeah it would be my third year of being divorced <laughs> No, it's not. It's not a celebration in that way, but yeah, just strange. So yeah, this year will be my third year of being divorced. So obviously me and John got married, we got divorced. I moved in with my mum and dad for two years um, because I just, I couldn't live where I lived anymore. I didn't want to be there. Although I had obviously Sarah, um, I just, I needed to get out of that area and just completely move away. And luckily my mum and dad moved like 50 minutes away. So I ended up living with them for a bit and staying there and I brought the cats down with me. So we moved into my mum and dad's and then, you know, I started dating and just really like enjoying myself. Like I'd been with someone for like seven years and when you think you know them, you know, you've got your mindset and that's what you do. That's, that's me. I was happy. I was doing my own thing and then my world just got like flipped upside down, pretty much like I am right now on the screen. And I just basically had to pull myself back together and just get on with it. There's, you know, people deal with things in different ways. I had my very dark times that I went through. I seeked help and look at me now. I'm in a really good place at the moment and I'm very much enjoying the better version of myself currently. Um, you know, divorce can be quite a taboo that people don't want to talk about, but it happens. It happens to the best of us, happens to the worst of us. Some people, you know, go through absolute hell. Some people actually like love the fact that they've been divorced and you know they've got a whole new lease of life and everything else. But something I didn't really think that would happen to me, if I'm honest, but it did. And here I am now. I'm in my own home and um, with my lovely boyfriend. And I'm just, yeah, like I said, living the best version of myself. Um, I still work full time. Um, I also do part time makeup for weddings and events and things like that and I really still do enjoy it and um, I'll put my Facebook links so people can see what I've been up to and obviously if you have me on Instagram you'll see some like bridal work that I've done recently and um, I did a couple of magazine shoot things a couple of years ago for Essex Life magazine I think it was that was like a dream come true to get my name um, in like credits which was awesome and um, something I didn't actually think I was ever going to be doing but they approached me and I did it and I really enjoyed it if I'm honest um, so yeah, I'm still doing the makeup stuff, which is good. And again, rejoin Slimming World for like the umpteenth time, but who cares? You know, it's a journey. It is a journey and it's a roller coaster like this. Obviously when I got divorced, I went and got really, really slim. And then I met Joe, and then I got really, really fat. Cheers, babe. And now I'm not gonna blame him, that was me. 
and now I'm just getting myself back down to where I was. So I am currently £12 away from where I was at my lightest, which is when I got married, um, which was 12 stone. So I'm 12, 12 and a half, I think. So I'm 12 and a half pound away. Um, so I'm going to keep pushing myself to be the better version of me. I know I keep saying that, but it's just a motto that I'm going to live by. You know, life changes and I'm just going to be a better me every single time. That's what I strive to do now. Um, so yeah, I'm back in the world, enjoying it. So if you want to see things like um, recipes and cooking and things like that, I enjoy cooking for me and Joe, and luckily he eats whatever I cook him Swim World style, which is great, because it saves me having to cook two dinners. So if you want to see things like that, then obviously just let me know below. Obviously I've been out of this game for, like I said, four years. I know I keep repeating myself, but it is quite a time that I haven't been on here. So a lot of things have changed, and people have come and gone. And, um, you know, I'm not in this, like I'm gonna state this right now, I'm not in this for the money, for anything like that, I've got a full-time job. I've got a part-time job. I've got a lovely house. I don't need the added extras. You know, if they come and it's a bonus, that's fab. If you get free stuff sent to you, excellent. But I'm not on here to boost my income, to boost my earnings, to boost my face. I actually just miss doing this. I miss talking to people. Um, I'm quite active on my Instagram still. Um, and I just love commenting to people and seeing people strive, especially all the girls that are doing similar well that I follow. It, they have the most amazing stories and I love what they do and like following their recipes and things like that is really inspiring. And again, with like the makeup and stuff, like finding new artists to follow, just amazing. And I do love watching a good vlog. And Jamie Genevieve, she is such a babe, honestly, like she cracks me up. She is like the Scottish version of me. I just, I love her. So yeah, like I said, a lot of things have changed and this is just gonna be a really quick intro to me. So my, I'm no longer Blush Blend Beauty, which was an absolute mouthful. How I managed to come up with that in the first place, I really don't know. But yeah, I'm just Natalie, Michelle, so now you'll find me underneath that. So if you wanna subscribe and follow me throughout my journey, then please do. Again, any comments below as to what you wanna see or any questions you wanna ask, because obviously I know I could do an update, but I could talk forever about me. Um, which isn't the best thing to be doing. So yeah, if you wanna know more, just let me know. But other than that, short and sweet, and it feels really strange to be sitting here doing this and talking to absolutely no one on a ring light, but it does strangely feel really good. So I shall see you in my next video, I suppose. See you, bye.